I am a professional procrastinator. Yep, that's right. I sit on my ass all day watching the sun go by, the monarch butterflies go through their life cycles, and the people hanging ornaments from trees, otherwise known as the emo kids from school. Eh, nah, scratch that. I'm constantly on task to do nothing. Congratulations! Congratulations! Schedules have never worked for me. I mean, almost every event I hosted in 2020, except for that one funny video, was all last minute. I even procrastinate on health-related things, which is not a good thing. Like, for example, if I, God forbid, were to have a tumor, and I know I have a Tumor, I will literally sit. I will literally sit. I will literally sit. I will literally sit for days, not even giving two shits about it. Two whole shits. I have to be reminded, like, hey, you are literally dying from stage four terminal cancer. For me to be like, hey, mom, trust me, I'm a very honest child, all right? I tell my mom almost everything. I even talked to her about YouTube analytics the other day. So tell me why it took me almost three years to tell her what really happened at this fruit fight at my middle school. See that sexy transition right there? Now I gotta tell you the backstory. Okay, imagine we're having lunch right now and I'm messing around with my friend ever. If you've been along time invader was fan you know that this is the same kid i used to make birthday videos for i don't know what the hell was going through my head but i just thought hey this nigga's lunch is on the edge of the table i now have the sudden urge to flip this shit so that's what i did which led him to grab my food and do the same which started a food fight from all the younger kids great role models we are are you fat are you pregnant like a mix of a dyke and a feminine this caused a meeting with every kid in that lunchroom like we were so scared of this one teacher right because he literally has the most monotone voice when he's teaching but here he was yelling yelling at a bunch of middle schoolers. It was also a meeting with the parents, and all the parents were worried, like, oh, who started the fight? My mom told me she was thinking to herself, like, wish I wouldn't do this. Well, little did she know, three years later, we'd be having a co casual conversation in the car, and I would just drop that, and I started it, and she just started laughing. Like, it took me three whole years just to tell her I started the fight. Three years! Y'all ever think about what happens to your online friends that you have no other real-life connections with? Like, what if they just die, right, and you have no connections with them? Like, what the fuck do you do? I'm gonna be that one nigga that dies of a stroke or some shit, and no one gonna know I'm dead because my entire existence is a couple years behind. I'll be dead, rotting in my grave for a year and a half before anyone online realizes like, hey, I haven't heard anyone drop the hard ER in a VC in a while. Where's that nigga Wist? Speaking of procrastinating, I completely forgot to ask you guys to subscribe, so I'm gonna do that now. Uh, subscribe so we can hit 10,000 subscribers uh that's all so yeah uh i don't know if you were expecting for me to tell some basic story about waiting to finish a project because yeah no that's not the kind of story you're gonna get from a nigga like me like surprisingly when it comes to schoolwork i'm on time for everything i got honor roll for the first semester this year and everyone around me is like oh my god good job but i'm sitting here like what the hell did i do like seriously all i do is the classwork and turn in homework like shit think of it like this your teacher assigned something on monday that's due friday why would you want that lingering over you the entire week just do it while it's fresh in your mind so that when it when the time comes to hand it in you're not cramming shit last minute it's all about making things convenient for yourself but people nowadays don't want to do that so everyone's a fucking victim oh god i hate women so much listen i understand i'm also bad at paying attention to school i actually really don't even like the structure of school but as a as, as a child i have to go here so might as well just do whatever work is thrown at me whether i understand it or not because putting in random answers is better than nothing okay motivational lecture over back to being irresponsible last thing i want to mention about my experience with procrastination this is a public apology for anyone i may have accidentally left on red i never meant to i just get sidetracked really easily so if i haven't responded in a couple of months just shoot me another dm i still love you Unless it's Snapchat. I never understood why after I send my morning streaks, you want to send a photo of the side of your face and expect me to snap you back and forth all day. Like, that's just a waste of time. Oh yeah, speaking of Discord DMs, there have been multiple instances where my friend Spacey will send me different kinds of music and I'll always tell him, I'll check them out later. Uh, I never do. Sometimes he literally has to force me into VC and make me listen to the songs he sends me. By the way, thank you for reminding me Beavis and Butthead by DC and Sad Frosty existed. Can anyone else guess what things I also seem to always procrastinate on before we end this video yeah my own channel i'm not kidding you i will have entire videos ready to edit and i will watch the raw footage and enjoy it like it's, it's a regular video like no you dickhead you have to edit this i'm pretty sure i have more scrap videos in 2021 than i did actual videos here at the invader west corporation we get absolutely nothing done